And we just want to say thank you so much for letting us present today and come on out. We're really excited to be the second Tech Wednesday. It's a lot of pressure to follow the first Tech Wednesday. Um, but we are really looking forward to showing you how we are leveraging data analytics to connect with our members and uh, why we opened our Prominence Care Centers in 2019. Yeah, my name is Chris King. Um, I am the uh, Regional Vice President for Vera Whole Health, uh, based right here um, uh, in Reno. As you can tell, I'm a local boy, um, born and raised, uh, but uh, actually have lived here, believe it or not, since, uh, since 1988, so uh, a, a, fairly, uh, a fairly long time. Um, so yeah, so we opened the uh, uh, Reno and Carson uh, Care Centers uh, in 2019, as, as, as Dominic mentioned. Generally did uh, near-site, on-site uh, care centers, really managing the health of uh, populations. And so again, started this relationship with prominence to open these care centers. We focus on uh, patient experience, uh, patient satisfaction. We survey our patients and, and, and use NPS, fairly common uh, methodology that lots of different industries uh, utilize, net promoter score in order to survey our patients. And then we we do personalized care and, and, and we talk a lot, Dominic talks a lot about data and, and, and data through all the claims information that comes in when you see a physician, when you go to the hospital, when you get medications refilled. We're not talking here about the, the concept of big brother, but we're talking about the concept of being able to get information that really tells us a story that ultimately helps our physicians in the care center be able to understand how they effectively manage care based on lots of information that can be be provided from all of that data, uh, which significantly helps us customize our care to our patients. Uh, and a lot of the care we're going to talk about too is some of the preventative work that we can do to really manage those patients effectively. So again, we'll talk a little bit about, you know, with the preventative care we do. I mean, again, we've always been a sick care system, right, in, in the U.S. I mean, in many ways, we spend much more of our time and effort on fixing people. But I think, you know, again, when you hear about value-based care, that's getting back to more preventative uh, care for those people who have chronic disease. And, and look, disease is, is very prevalent in our society. How do we manage diabetes better? How do we manage hypertension? How do we deal with depression, a real issue uh, that, that fortunately we've started to talk about, I think a lot more as a society. We also are a, a, acute care. We're not an urgent care. We're not sort of people just don't show up at our doorstep, but we make sure that we get people access the, the same day or the next day so that when they need care, they can come and see their doctor in more of a traditional sense. You know, a lot of days, these days you call your local primary care physician and they say, yeah, we can see you in six weeks. Well, usually people want access when they're sick. So if we can get them in and we have the relationship, that's part of what we do. Uh, at, at the care center. So it's always this blend of traditional medicine with a lot of information that, again, prominence can package up. And then other things that we have in the care center. So we have health coaches who can work on lifestyle issues. We have on-site labs, very simple, but you know, how many times have people got a lab slip and have all these great intentions of going to see LabCorp or Quest, and you know, three weeks later after you get it out of the washer, you realize your lab slip is still in your pocket and you've never been. That's, um, you know, some of the things that we can do. The other thing is we have 200 generic medications that we can dispense right in the care center. So again, it allows patients to not have to go somewhere to get that medication. We can hand it to them as they leave. And as basic as that is, it's amazing. You see a lot of data around how many people do not fill their medications and it causes a lot of impact in total healthcare costs. So again, uh, and then the other thing we do is help patients navigate through the system, coordinating their referrals to specialists, et cetera. I mean, basic things, but healthcare is complicated. And we deal with a lot of seniors and, and seniors, you know, oftentimes are one of our most vulnerable populations. So it's really important that we help coordinate their care too. Hi, my 
name is Chris King, Regional Vice President of the Prominence Care Center. And I'd like to welcome you to the waiting room area. Uh, and we're gonna do a little tour. Uh, because of COVID, uh, one of the things we've had to do as we check our patients in is that we have to take their temperature, make sure that they're wearing a mask, and then they have them use hand sanitizer in order to keep all of our patients safe. One of the things we think a lot about at the Prominence Care Centers is the look and feel. Um, I think you'll see uh, in terms of the aesthetics of the care center, it's an important part uh, of that patient experience. As we uh, check into the care center, what would normally happen is that one of our staff members would come up, greet the patient, and then we will take them back uh, to the uh, exam room uh, in order to see one of our providers. We have to think a lot about our elderly patients and making sure that we take care of them. Even in terms of the, the chairs that we have, the design of the chairs is such so they're low to the ground, so it's easy for our patients to get into those chairs. Uh, and we're gonna show you uh, how these chairs work in order for our elderly patients to make it very easy for them to be taken care of. One of the unique things at the Prominence Care Center is that as part of the visit, you can see a health coach. And the health coach is there to work on lifestyle issues. Uh, maybe it's someone who wants to lose some weight. Maybe it's someone who wants to manage their stress better. So we have health coaches that work alongside our providers uh, and allow patients to see them uh, and put a plan in place to work on various behaviors uh, that they want to work through with the coach uh, as part of the experience in the care center. One of the exciting new developments at the care center is that we now have the ability to do uh, COVID testing and get results within 15 minutes. So this machine here is actually a uh, a flu test machine, but now we will also be able to do COVID testing and for patients that are symptomatic, we'll be able within 15 minutes to give them the results to know whether they are positive or negative. One of the other things we provide is vaccinations for our patients so that again, they can get the flu vaccine, they can get the vaccine for shingles. So we provide uh, vaccinations for our patients. And our philosophy is that it is much better to bring that point of care testing to our patients, to have them get that testing right here in the care center, whether it's labs, whether it's uh, monitoring vascular disease, it's much better if we can do that testing right here because oftentimes patients will say they're gonna do something but ultimately when they leave here, they may not go do their labs. So that's why it's important we bring those services to our patients in the care center. At the Prominence Care Center, we dispense medications for our patients. We have 200 different generic medications that our providers are able to prescribe at the care center. Again, it provides for convenience, it provides for compliance, and it's a great service for all of our patients. We're going to do a um, diabetic retinal exam using our handheld camera. Um, this is really easy to do while the patients are here in the care center. Um, during real life, the patient will be in a dark room, um, avoiding any stimulation such as their cell phone for five minutes minimum. And then we'll come in and we have our camera here. So I tell the patient that we're gonna test one eye at a time and we're gonna do your right eye first. So put your uh, hand over your left eye and we're gonna situate it and tell them to keep their eye real big and open without blinking as much as possible. And then once we get our picture, the camera senses it automatically and automatically takes the picture. So then I tell them, we're gonna move over to your other eye. So put your hand over your right eye 
And we do the same thing, getting in nice and close. They're gonna see two green dots until they see a big flash when it gets the image at once, and then it's done. And then once the images are captured on this camera, they get sent over to a ophthalmologist for review for any signs of diabetic retinopathy. And those results get sent back to us and we can notify the patient of the results.